Wer ist der berühmteste <lacht> Österreicher der Welt? Falco. <lacht> <lacht> Nailed it. You are All right. Now. Citizen. Yeah. Citizen. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, we would have also taken everything but Hitler. <lacht> Oh, you mean Paul Jacobs? <laughs> G.J. James? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love his ones and twos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just imagining a series of Austrian families like Fritzl. Fritzl is just like, yeah, I actually, uh, D.J. Sa- James, he just sampled my work. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, 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 the children. <laughs> What that man does is an art form. I sampled him. I gave him little little Stefan, you know, because I knew he had the best... Uh, I mean, it's the closest thing to an Austrian sensei we have is Fritzl. Little he was connected to his whole family. <laughs> little Stefan has the best beats. Sorry, little Stefan beats the best. <laughs> I beat Stefan the best? Yeah, okay. I was saying Stefan, be- it's, a, it's a masturbation, oh, a oh, hand job oh, joke. Oh, beats the meat. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you can also beat him. I don't oh, care. Beats the beef? No, Me. you squash the beef. Yeah, that means the same thing. <laughs> Your problem. <laughs> I wish Biggie and Tupac could have just squashed their beef. <laughs> Best pun ever. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, yo, homie, what would you say? Niggas be tripping. Oh, bro, bro, but you don't want that West Side. Oh, no, 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 nigga, no, no, nigga, no. We be repping NYC. You know what, bro? Let's just, we don't want to just get too caught up. We don't need Suge Knight running over no niggas. All right, let's just squash the beef. All right, let's squash the beef. This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back. All I'm saying is I would really like to find Pete. <laughs> Uh, it's the sleep deprived hour at FFPO. Yeah, that's the only problem. <laughs> it's not the illicit drug that have been fumigating your house with. That would have been way funnier if I made that a, like a grammatically correct sentence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I think I proved my point. So welcome to FFPO, <laughs> and we're at episode 80, recorded on the 17th. If you say FFPO phonetically, it just sounds like fupa. <laughs> fupa. <laughs> it's not bad. That upper pubic area. Yeah. I know. It's not good. You sound like Jack right now telling me that I'm healthy when I gain weight. <laughs> no, I bro. Mean, it's, it's good for you. Techni- Everyone needs tits. <laughs> technically. That's where you store your energy at. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I mean, when you get... Tits is where the cholesterol gets stored. That way it doesn't go to your heart. I mean, post-apocalyptic scenario thinking, it is better to have more tits. More fat stored. Yeah, yeah. like if you ever have to fight for resources, it's definitely best to be <laughs> fat. Oh wow! Welcome to uh, FFP. This feels already so shitty. Complete reenactment of everything Paul wanted to say tonight. (laughs) Were you just mad that I read all your notes and said them before you? (laughs) (laughs) At least I have notes, asshole. What are you talking about? I have. You have the mad scrawlings of like somebody. I know what it says. Probably who has a stroke mid writing. I don't like writing in a way that (laughs) other people can see. Okay. Because, like, especially when it's, like, a, a half-baked thought, uh-huh. I don't want somebody... Because, like, Jack has talked about this. He's, like, the, his one of his bigger fears is that he's going to die with his n- joke book on him. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to read that. And yeah. And not... Like, what the fuck was this guy thinking? Okay. So, I don't like writing like that because I don't want people to see what I'm writing when it's a half-baked thought. Mm-hmm. I would rather write it in a way that's very intentionally bad right halfway through a word i just start moving my hand and i'm like wait i'm supposed to be controlling this word and i have to catch back up to it and then i can look at it and figure out what it means and nobody else can than a way that you can read that i just said german accents <laughs> okay. i don't want you to know my secrets you don't deserve that shit Nobody deserves this shit because Earn it. because we watched the Sense Eight finale. Boo! <laughs> it is. I should have called it the fucking Sense Eight season one, and I wouldn't have watched it. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. A whole lot of dog shit. It you, was really bad. Yeah, it wasn't even as good as like the, the Christmas begi- special. Yeah, it was on par with the Christmas special. No, the Christmas special was better. I don't. It was shorter. It was bad. It was shorter. It was really bad. Yeah, but it was shorter. See, here's the thing. You guys, have you never seen Sensei? First off, congratulations. If you're ever going to watch it, watch the last episode of season one, skip the Christmas special, watch season two, and then forget the rest of it exists. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good, that's, that's a good that's strategy. Because that's what Sensei should be based on. And if on you the like jumping. season two, really, 
then watch Definitely season don't watch, watch this. No, watch season one and then be done with it. Don't watch the yeah. Christmas special. If you like don't season two, this. really, you can go back and watch a season that really didn't ever get to what it was supposed to be. Because season one was a thing where, like, it was... Here, the thing is, when I say the jumping off point of what the show should be, I mean the elevator pitch. The elevator pitch. Eight people joined at the mind from all over the world. Yeah. They interact with each other. That's what hooks people in. And then the whole thing is just like, but also gays are cool, right? And like, I don't have any problem with the message. It's just that there's no nuance. There's no artistry. There's no subtlety in the way that they portray that agenda in the show. Yeah. So it's just so fucking hammer on it like just right on the nose for everything of just like hey but gay people are cool too right but what about gays and the whole thing is an allegory for how homosexuality is cool because there are different species of human and we just don't get it and it's dog shit it's so (laughs) bad it's so bad if you like season two don't watch season one because it's a different show because season one is just while they're establishing all the characters to get to the jumping off point the fucking elevator pitch the elevator pitch of just hey this is what the show is eight people all interacting with each other they can fight crimes and shit that doesn't happen until the last goddamn episode because they're too busy having orgies for no reason not making this up they yep. ended the goddamn <laughs> fucking series they were they got they were canceled a year ago yes. fans loved it so much yep. they said please let us wrap it up we left the cliffhanger let me wrap it up people want to know what happens with this orgy so let me just wrap it up I'll, I'll do a long slow build up to a really shitty summation of a plot with no climax in it and then we'll just have a 30 minute wedding slash orgy where we do a best of clip of two seasons i love by the way that at the end it didn't even matter that their sense eight abilities mattered what mattered was a rocket launcher like <laughs> it's so bad no you know what mattered a wet rainbow dildo because that's how they ended the goddamn series fuck you fuck you wachowski sisters uh, like here's my thing just the Vaka- wachowskis now i think no sisters they call, they switched to. i mean I no no know. now it's just the wachowskis you're just making that word less Wachowski and more vagina with every word. You're transgendering the name in like, yep, oh, that's the, what I'm doing. Oh, the right Wachowski now. sisters. No, they're just the, the, they're just the Wachowskis. No, they're just the <laughs> Wachowskis. They're just the vaginas. I think they just call and them. Let us, let us say again, we don't have any problems with the agenda. We don't have any problems with yeah, the sure. message. Just make it a speech just and a not. Way- just a, a series. Yeah, yeah exactly. And again, if you want it to be that series, just have it be that series. Have it be a series about, hey, here's the coming of age tale of whatever, or here's this thing all about acceptance. Don't make it a sci-fi movie where the main thing that's going to get everybody interested in the show, everything you're promoting is, hey, here's this sci-fi theme. Then you go to watch it, and it takes you nine episodes to get past all the random gay sex and orgies <laughs> to be like, oh, by the way, here's Which? that thing we mentioned. Which? I know you love it. I know it's big. Yeah. I know that it's gotten a fan base that definitely did. The worst part about it is they ended the whole thing with a wedding, then followed by a party scene, followed by an orgy, followed by flashbacks, intertwined with an orgy and then when they finally did it they had one guy who wasn't even a sensate be like yeah. oh wow and they flash back to the orgy <laughs> that he's not aware of because he's not mixed oh, wow. in with the people in the room and then they cut they, they pan over to a rainbow colored dildo that is a strap on dildo that is still juiced up because you know what this was important for the orgy but at a certain point i decided you know what my orgies are best without dildos i'm gonna leave it there for ambiance so then they just pan over to it and it's just dripping wet like that scene in nymphomaniac where she was like (laughs) if i Gefeucht. And I did watch it in German, so I don't know how Ooh, they actually wow. said it. But yeah, ich war gefeucht. And then you just see from between her legs, just droplets of water drop to the tile. Okay, that's basically what it was like. It was like an art house film that a fucking first year soft first year sophomore first year <laughs> film students like this will be artsy yeah <laughs> oh i'm carrying on the agenda look at it it's wet representing oppression and then they just pan pan to that boom strap on dildo rainbow colored from the people that just got married and th- guess what it's glistening then they fade to black and then in fucking like typewriter font in yeah, yeah, white on fans. black it says for the fans fuck you <laughs> Fuck you, you Wachowski sisters. Fuck you, vagina sisters. Okay, (laughs) fucking fuck. 
every part of it. You pandering. Like, there was... Ah! Ah! And the thing that makes me the most mad is I know. I know. As much as you liked all the parts yeah. that I didn't like about it, you're like, I kind of liked the 10-minute orgy that did not further the plot in the slightest. Yeah. Even that annoyed you. But there were still people who were like, thank you for doing this for the fans. And I'm like... What did you want to see? The fucking la- <laughs> end of season two. They captured the. You just wanted pawn. They captured the bad guy. Yeah. Because one of their guys was captured and like, fuck you. We got your guy now. You're going to have to trade us. If you want a war, you got a war. Credits. And we're like, holy shit. Yeah. We're not done. They're like, sorry, it was canceled. No, you can't leave it on that note. And you're like, you're right. We can't leave it without the two characters getting married. Yeah. So let's quickly get through all that nonsense fights and sci-fi so that we can get to a 30-minute ending where they just get married at the top of the Eiffel Tower, watch fireworks go off, dance for a bit, go to their respective rooms so they can do the, oh, let's toast and drink our glasses through <laughs> right, into Reggie. their arms. Reggie, Reggie, and then Reggie, we can have an Reggie, orgy Reggie, and then we can just flashback Reggie, reminisce on all please, the other nonsense please, that please. happened before that fuck you please, Reggie, please after this double rant retroactively <laughs> dog shit <laughs> cinematography <laughs> It's infuriating, man. It is quite infuriating. And I totally get those double rants from you, but... What is a double rant? You did a rant, stopped for a minute, and then went into another rant that right after. That doesn't sound it. like me. That doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> you double shotgun barreled it right now. I would love to double shotgun barrel my face after that goddamn movie. <laughs> I want to Kurt Cobain this shit. <laughs> Fucking, I'm glad I'm not wearing <laughs> shoes. I can use my toe to fucking get that trigger. So, um, it's to bad. Be, it's, <laughs> Summation? It's bad. <laughs> and this is why niggas can't have nice things. <laughs> so, <laughs> behind every empowering statement is a white woman to lead the charge. <laughs> That's me being progressive. I know it sounds like I'm being misogynistic. No, she had a dick. I call her a woman. You're welcome. I'm a nice person. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Says the blanket dude. Really? The blanket dude? What is that? Yeah, I'm wearing a. I'm using a blanket. You're wearing a blanket. You yeah, just technically wearing a blanket. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Toga party, man. Oh look. All right. Yeah, I got a blanket on, like a bitch ass cold person. All right. I'm. Mm-hmm. Fucking, you know what? Don't try to tell me I'm a cisgendered male. I'm a, I'm a fucking clearly a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Reggie already very eloquently summarized the plot for us <laughs> in this one. But I have to say, yeah, you're right. The first third of the movie, they are stuck in a two different apartments, basically. Which, again, because they left off the end on of, such the a high cliffhanger note. was so action packed. Yeah, and so they good. started with an hour of slow build up yeah. in this no the best thing is a failed attempt by Wolfgang where he just wastes 20 dudes <sighs> made no sense and then he stopped is because there, he kind of there yeah yeah there's yeah, more one yeah, yeah. <laughs> Santé I say that because they were in Paris sorry <laughs> Perry. you filled that up like a motherfucker <laughs> Oopsie daisy. You're like, Reggie, calm down. <laughs> I'm sedating you, Just right? Just give me a bottle of wine in a cup. <laughs> I, I sense eight block at you right now, so you don't feel as much. I felt that. <laughs> I felt that really shitty pun. Not even sure how it's a pun, but Paul said it, so I'm sure it is. <laughs> well, he still drinks it. So I was like, of course I will. What am, I'm not going to waste it. That'd be rude. So, yes. I was like, one thing. Okay, first off, when I started off with that big... For some reason, the fact that um uh no, but the fact that Wolfgang had electrodes to his head after mm-hmm. being captured yeah meant that's a MacBook yeah that's an Apple product yes Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah. that laptop looks older than the hacker from Sensei <laughs> who had good pull man who had good pull the oldest looking laptop you mean Bug or or you mean one of the no couple me. no me no me remember yeah. you commented on it her, yeah, yeah. her oh, laptop it, looked older than my Toshiba it had four clicky buttons for the trackpad for two and in this the bottom, is how she's doing a front. hack a hack job <laughs> uh, she's Woo. she's hacking everything she's hacking one of the biggest corporations in the world immediately that is like yeah not necessarily i guess technically non-governmental but like everything it everybody looks like they're in she a, hacked a telephone number from the 
no, uh, South Korean police force. Yeah, with a, a computer that looks like the Flintstones had it. Yeah. It was just a mammoth with <laughs> who opened his mouth yeah. and had two people acting inside of it. <laughs> I guess it's, it's a job. It's a living. Yeah. Oh, it's a living. Yeah. yeah. Uh, translated from the German. I guess it's a job. Is what he says. No, no not in German. Schätze mal, das ist was ich mache oder something like okay. that. Yeah. It's a living is what yeah. he said a lot. But yeah. But uh, so it start off. He's got these electrodes on his head, and then he just keeps having flashbacks to his mom. Yeah. Oh wait. Who was one not attractive? Yeah. <laughs> one second. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that's my only takeaway. <laughs> Sorry to get it. Dude's mom was not hot. Yeah, um, no, no. But that's not the point here. plot hole. Because the dad is also not hot. But they have like this gorgeous son. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The son who looks nothing like either of them. Yeah. That kid is adopted. My bigger yeah. problem is the accents. The German accents have made me, uh, have annoyed me through every season uh-huh. of this. Because like for the first few episodes, I feel, maybe I have to listen again to know for sure, but I definitely felt when I was watching the first season... Like, everyone that was based in Berlin, their accents were changing throughout the series. Because when they first started doing it, I'm like, these don't sound like German accents. And, like, mm-hmm. there were a lot of accents where I'm like, what the fuck accent do you have and who talks like this? <laughs> I guess a Russian immigrant from Ber- in was Berlin. Was a Russian immigrant? That was some I mean, it's still... I mean, why, you say that? Because he had that Mario Lucic fur coat? No, he... <laughs> The, the father? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. But also, shout out to Mar- Mario Lucic. Yeah, Mario should fucking sue them for copyright infringement because yeah. they took his jacket. You mean copyright infringement? Boo. There was one moment where I predicted a dialogue. You predicted several dialogues. <laughs> yeah. Which does not say much because it's not like they were crazy things for again, you to it's like, assume. Again, it's like the Green Hornet syndrome it all over again. bad. <laughs> How do we get through this pesky plot so we can get back to the fucking agenda? I love, I love, I, I still love uh, the moment where I broke, and then it we was had the Carmen Esposito, and we of- had, and we had to work, uh, we had to like stop for two two minutes where I just had like the be- oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Where well, we'll we just, get to that yeah. we'll get to that yeah <laughs> that's how we know it's bad that. Paul had a Reggie reaction to watching this at a certain point. <laughs> That's and I a was true like, testament I was to like, something being dead. It only took you two hours and 15 minutes to understand that this is dog shit. <laughs> this was the Amy Schumer of action movies. Oh, wow. Where it's pulling like, punches. hey, I know that you're supposed... I'm not pulling them. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Too heavy. <laughs> well, it's just a thing where it's like, hey, let's have an action sci-fi thing. But then it's all just agenda. And it's like, you get like a lot, not just Amy Schumer, which like, because again, she's got her success and congratulations, but there are and a lot of comedians some t- sometimes, so less so recently than yeah. in the past, but yes. yes. And look, she will destroy a room way more than I will every time she gets on stage. <laughs> but the thing is like, it's not just her. There are a lot of yeah. comedians who like really go for more, like uh, I've heard co- comedians call it clapter or clapter, clap, clapter. <laughs> that clapter. sounds like a, so like a, instead of. Instead of getting laughter, they're getting applause. Oh, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm killing. And it's like, you didn't make anybody laugh. Yeah. They just agreed with you. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of comedians who are going for that. And they're looking for like, but I'm right. I'm yeah. on the right side of history. I'm punching the right people. Yeah. And it's like, cool, that's all agenda. Where's the actual jokes? And this felt like that, too. It's like, hey, here's this sci-fi premise. It's like, cool. Oh, and by the way, uh, one of the characters is trans. Okay, cool. Oh, and I, by the way, that's what this entire show is going to be about. Yeah. Is LBG, the, the, yeah, the, LBGT, LGBTQI plus. Right. Yeah. Which is a fine stance to take. Yeah. But it's like from the elevator pitch of this show, not what brought people there. No, like, it, was the, and I was, it was the very interesting premise. And I'll, I'll hesitate to say like, that's not what this show is or should be because they did make it. So it is their right to say what it is. But like when every promotional thing you do advertises the elevator pitch, and then the main focus that you approach is agenda that has nothing to do with it. I feel like it's like, that's not I mean, what this, it doesn't, that, this isn't what it, it set do, out to be. It, do, it doesn't have to do with it is a little bit of a stretch because the symbolism is still there. But yes, they, they co- totally pushed it into to the, the level that they put it in yes, there. It, it, yes. it was not necessary. No, no, it's ham fisted. Yeah, it's to like, a I don't tea. care. Like you can definitely like have that and have it be an allegory and leave some nuance in it. And you can make your points clear without having multiple orgies. Yeah. Like you can make your point clear without going out of your way at every single opportunity. And then in this finale, which was only existed because the show got canceled a year ago, fans loved it so much they brought it back. And they brought it back and just hand fisted more 
again, not an exaggeration. The main villain was killed 30 minutes before the end of the movie. Yeah. And then after that, it went to a wedding reception, and then it went to the wedding itself. Also, then not it, necessary that he died. No. In that moment. He could have, could have died in the rocket attack. Didn't affect the plot. Didn't yeah. affect the plot that he died at all, really. Like, there yeah. were like, several points that they took. There were several points that they took throughout the thing where it's like, they, they said, like, they were talking... And then they made a conclusion. You're like, oh, so he'll live forever, and that's with this. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. How do we get here? Like, it did seem like they just took like the like the, let's just say a few things, and now we're at this conclusion, and that's why we have to kill him. They kill him very anticlimactically, and then 30 minutes of wedding reception at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Then they get married. Then they have a dance party. Then they go to their separate rooms. Yeah. Then they hook up with each other separately. Then there's an orgy. Then there's a flashback to the rest of the series. Then there's a dildo for our fans. 30 minutes. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, no, we it's, we we it's insane. We grinded a lot. Like the, the the thing is, we got distracted so much. It took us so long to finish this. Like we started when? At nine? I don't know. But we finished at like midnight. Or yeah, late. even later. It took a while. It's already two hours and thirty minutes long. How is it two hours and thirty minutes long? Because there's a thirty minute after falling action. That even makes it two hours, place. and it feels like it should be an hour long. Because it was way too slow. This yeah, it, it oh, started off dude, dude, so slowly. Dude, their ruse to invade the Italian place retarded, <laughs> retarded, <laughs> did not make sense. So unnecessary, just. For the quote, because this, I said this to you earlier. This yeah. show tried so hard to go in between, oh, we're a serious action film. Oh, we're funny. Yeah. Oh, we're artsy. Oh, we've got a message. It juggles to spread. so many balls and at the same time. It doesn't do it coherently. Just like at the ba- uh yeah. Yeah, just like the gays that they're trying to stand up for. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, but it, but like it, it's it, true. It was infuriating because like they would try to juggle so many things, but it wasn't like uh, Infinity War. Have you seen Infinity War? Not yet. Okay, that had a lot of things where like it did have some suspense and stuff like that, or yeah. as much for a Marvel movie. Yeah, and then they get like a joke in there, mm-hmm. and it did like do and like Deadpool two. Have you seen it? Yes, that one is great. It does do a good job of juggling yeah. humor and action movie. But <laughs> guys, this, don't watch Sense Eight. Watch, watch Deadpool. Those. Watch a good movie instead. <laughs> yeah. Watch the second season again. It's Watch Muppets Treasure Island. It'll be oh, less disappointing. No, that is a good Muppets movie. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. I just remember I was talking to Sonia about it. That's why I brought it up. Okay. But either way, it'll definitely be less disappointing. There's no way it won't. <laughs> That's my point. Okay? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it is... Uh, the, okay, so the thing is also, they introduce so many concepts that are new to us, like the mother, and then the, the there's mother like, the, they're like it basically sends eight ISIS, basically. Yeah, Angelica, or whatever her name was. And yeah. Like, I'll Gosh. just hold it. I'll just hold it for yeah. now. Um, they, the thing is, okay, they have a show where, like, every time there are eight people, and when they're not in the same room, they'll have scenes where they're all in the same room because they're all sharing a mind, and that's a way of depicting. This is how they're all sharing the same thing. They're seeing what each other sees, and they're in that person's body. So it'll be yes. a scene where I'm the only person in the room. Like right now on the screen, I'm here. Paul's in Iceland, but we're talking to each other face to face for this thing. So they already have a well-established theme of doing that. But for some reason, with a woman who killed herself in episode one, season one, she just kept being there mm-hmm. in the same exact way. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. well, what is this person here for? She's dead. Well, maybe it's a memory. But like, that's not how memory should be handled <laughs> when we already have a thing that does this. Yeah. It doesn't make any fucking yeah, sense. Yeah. She was at the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> then they introduced for the first time that pain is basically like sonar to them, where they can f- where they can find somebody, which doesn't make well, it makes a certain sense. Not only find somebody, wake somebody up from a coma. But I hurt myself enough that you wake up from comas, even though, one, that's not how comas work. And two, <laughs> yeah. if they did, why couldn't you just hurt him I mean, then, and wake him up like that? I mean, then we have the resuscitation well, scene. Well, you wouldn't have to have a, a defibrillator on your own chest over and over again. That'd be way less dramatic. Because the only way you can wake a guy in another room up from a coma is to shock yourself with yeah. defibrillator paddles yeah, instead of just shocking him with defibrillator paddles. That No, she, does, she didn't know where he was. That was her thing. 
she was he was in her sa- circle I feel like that in her clear. cell it that whole cluster. thing was they yeah. they forced their way through so much of that so quickly oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. they they tried to tie there up so, much so many knots like, at the same time there were times when i was just cuz like my german's fine but like if i'm watching two germans speaking like native german speakers speak yeah. to each other in dialect quickly it's difficult. Th- it's, it's hard to like follow an entire plot. All yes. The, all the nuances of a plot. I know what's going on. I don't exactly know why everything's going on. Yeah. I got as lost in this at multiple times <laughs> as I do watching a thing where I'm like, Paul, what was the reason for this? Yeah. I must have missed that one expos- ex- expositional line mm-hmm. that explained it. And I would do this, and it's all in fucking English. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, Paul, like there are some times I'm like, wait, how did they come to this conclusion? And I'm like. I'm guessing having, too. Yeah, I'm guessing like too. A regular, like, yeah. hey, what's up with you? Oh, I had a turkey sandwich today. I'm gonna go to the gym later. Oh, yeah, you probably shouldn't get carbs, man. If you want to cut, you shouldn't lose carbs. Oh, so we can live forever? Okay. Like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. It was like they 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 casually drop so many important informations that would round up the universe. Yeah, they casually dropped it because they like, it, it they were in, again in the middle that, of big conversations. Again, the fucking resuscitation scene fucking killed me. We'll get to that in a no, second. Because we're doing it right now. We're doing it fucking right now. Because, because again, I feel I feel like that was the climax of of it being obnoxious. Because because no, it woke me up. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is, like, when you say like they casually drop a lot of this information, the thing is they're having like big conversations. When I talk to that mother of like this, yes. this secret order of sensates that has never been mentioned before. Yeah. And they're just walking through Paris, and they were like, "Oh, we're neutral so far, the, but they are so cruel now that, that we made have no to sense kill them." To me. They're walking through Paris. They're going to the subway. As they're going downstairs, without me being able to follow it, they just knew that somebody was following them, I guess. And then oh, yeah, that's shit. why he, he jumped oh, to the side, uh, tripped makes, him, yeah. got in a fight. Yeah. So they were going on to the subway station anyway. Mm-hmm. And then they get attacked by this person, but they preempt the attack. Yeah. So then they start fighting with that. Uh, I don't know her actual name or her name on the show. Tupin something is the actress's yeah, name. Yeah. The, uh, Icelandic Gavin, girl. G- Gobin. The Icelandic Gobi. girl gets on the, oh, the subway care. train, which the doors stay open for a long time. Uh-huh. Gets on there. I guess as, they're French doors. As Gorski, the Chicago cop, starts fighting hand-to-hand combat. Yeah. This ninja, which is, for all intents and purposes, how it was handled. Yeah. It was like she fought a fucking ninja. Yeah, it looked like a really bad Matrix scene. So they're about to get on the Metro. They get attacked. They preempt the attack. She runs onto the train. He starts fighting the ninja. While that's happening, she, she runs off. off the train. Yeah. The ninja runs on the train. And then they can't get back so that they can chase the ninja. Doors close so they can't chase it. And I'm like, wait, you were the ones that wanted to get on a train. It was following you. God, how, just get on the how train. How is it now? Run, how is the, yeah, just get on the train. Fight him. Like, Continue make it, fighting make, him. Or just keep fighting until the door's about to close, jump through, and then you can escape how the ninja escaped. Yeah. Because you were the one that wanted to get on the train. Yeah. It didn't make any sense. So then later, they introduced it to like, oh, here's the mother of that clan, and we're uh-huh. this big, we've been maintaining the order for centuries or whatever. Yeah, yeah and it's some bullshit. And they're having this big conversation with this person, and they, when you're like, they dropped a lot of casual bombs. Mm. It's like, they were actually, it was the thing where like, they were having a big conversation but they just, when they came to their like bombshell realizations, the, it should have been like the whole conversation was building up to it. But again, it was such random facts. It was just like, hey, here's a fact, here's a fact, here's a fact. So you mean, it's like John Mulaney's bit about Ice T and SVU. It's like, so you mean to say it's like when you're addicted to horse racing and you can't <laughs> you to the scratchy lotteries? Yeah. So you mean to say that this man is attracted to children? <laughs> And that's why he has sex with children. <laughs> Wait, so that's almost like when you drink too much and you can't <laughs> yeah. stop drinking. Wait, so that's like if you eat too many sweets and then your tummy hurts. Like, like that's how they handle yeah. all of it. Where it's like they come up with this realization, which is like an oversimplification of facts that were not presented in that conversation. So it feels like a casual thing where you're like, oh, where'd that come from? And you said it so lightly, but it should have been big because they were having a conversation and just wasted all their writing on. Yeah, we didn't... Look, nobody's fucking right now. We didn't get in here for the dialogue. We yeah. got in here for the the, the gay Sweet. sex. <laughs> you want to do the, do the shocking thing? So Okay, here's another thing. Okay, actually, here's the thing we should lead into before yes. we get to that. Please. 
it's Rajan in the first place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fir- like, okay. Before we get to that okay. thing, we have so, to talk about him in the first yes, place. Because that actually got me mad. Because for Every the last part two, of him for la- made no for, sense. For the last two seasons, we had this thing building up. A between, will they, won't they? A Ross and Rachel between yeah. two of the sensei people. Yes. Well, and they did it like in the first seasons or in the first season already. Oh, will they? Oh, no, they didn't. For yeah. two. <laughs> Yeah, the the German guy, the guy from Berlin, and the girl from Mumbai. Yeah, they they bang mentally over the Sense Eight ne- mesh network. Basically, they Skype chat. Basically, oh, not that's not really a, a good way of. They mentally they 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 share minds. Yes, and they fucked each other in their minds. Yes, which kind of sounds like a fantasy. Uh huh. Oh no, because your fantasy is reality. Oh, oh, yeah. F- oh, oh. <laughs> I mean. Yes. Yeah. But also, ugh, like, <laughs> like it hurt me to hear it. But yes. So there's been this thing with them, mm-hmm. and she. Okay, here's another thing. I wrote down. <laughs> why did I write down slow? I don't know. Or slow? Is it just remembering how your brain works, or I well, don't know. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so German accents was my first note. Yeah. Then it's either slow or slaw. <laughs> I hope not. It's slow. But because there was no slaw in this one. That's an Austrian, I'm sure you noticed. <laughs> uh, I love then, me some slaw. And the next one was escape scene, which was when the German guy was trying to escape, and he'd been captive for, I would assume, weeks based on his stubble growth. Yeah, it has to be at least a few weeks. It's about as much as you yeah, have because, right now, yeah, because, which is, I don't yeah, at least. Yeah. How long has it been since you shaved? Like two and a half weeks. Right. Yeah. So it's a bit of time. It's enough time to where like he's been like handcuffed to a hospital bed with electrodes on his head remembering his mother for a couple weeks yeah and then out of nowhere for literally no reason when one of the guys comes in to check on him he headbutts their face mask and breaks it which oh, really yeah. incapacitates them yeah leaves him with no scratches on his face oh he is really the master of headbutts Dude, and then he, he headbutts so hard so many times in this movie alone but then from that he manages to before he's unchained kill like three people Get one of their guns, There's shoot one g- the chain of his thing, break it in one thing like it's a fucking, uh, what's uh, the Mel Gibson Lethal Weapon movie. Oh, yeah, Shoot yeah. one of his chains out, yeah. let himself free, kill another, like, ten people, and then whenever they catch him, they're like, dude, you're about to get released, why would you do this? He's like, oh. they're like, you're gonna go home. He's like, there is no home. Yeah. So he puts a gun to his head, in which case, Mumbai girl is like, no, don't kill yourself. He's like, you're the first sex that I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And she's like, then I'm going to do it too. And she runs to a window to jump out. And he's like, no, don't do it. So then you cut to him being <laughs> oh, next yeah, to that, her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then without taking the gun from his head, he grabs her. I have to. He grabs her by the waist so he can pull her from the windowsill. Still gun to his head, but also not the same gun that's actually to his head. He, in real life, right side. In the movie, in in like oh, in, Mo- in Mumbai, <laughs> left side. So he has this arm free, so he can be like, no, I need you to save it. And she's like, we're coming for you. And he's like, I'm not worth it because his mom said to him when he was seven, I'm not worth it. After he killed his father, like I killed my dad, mom. Did so he? Not, uh, did he kill it? We saw uh, a scene of him on his father's back. I thought there was like a flash forward in that. I don't know. The thing is, it didn't show when it the chronology make was. Any sense it didn't too. show when the chronology was of before or after he killed his dad. That yeah. he had that conversation with his mom, but he definitely killed his dad. And he, when he was talking to his mom, like, "Mom, we have to go. He can't keep beating me like this." She was like, "I'm not worth it." With her fucking, fucking stupid lips of like, "Fucking, ooh, I got my fucking, my fucking." Uh, she looked like she was from Lazy Town. <laughs> <laughs> As didn't make any cut. sense eh like oh. <laughs> and then she was like i'm not worth it and he's like yes you are and then immediately afterwards mumbai girl was like we're, we're coming for you i'm not worth it <laughs> fuck you <laughs> and this is like five minutes into the movie and they're already doing the trope let's wrap it all up by making it double back to something we yeah. just made somebody say three minutes ago and then so all of this happens they finally get out uh they all 
inexplicably are in Paris. And how do they have this much money? None of them have money. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not true. Again, that's not true. Two uh, of them have money. Two of them have a decent amount and of money. And They're one have, all the money. And one have has maybe money if the father was smart enough. One of them is a washed up actor who's hoping that being the gay rights advocate can hopefully get him a new part that he's trying for and isn't sure if he's getting for this entire thing. Yes. But all of the career that he's had so far, I'm sure he still has money, but all the career he's had so far is done. Yes. It's done. In in most people's eyes, he's washed up, except for the LGBT community, because obviously they say everything. Big. No. They're just the answer to all life's problems. Oh, yeah. True. Had True. you gotten the message of this movie? Oh, sorry. Sorry, RG. I got distracted. So he had money. Probably, I mean, he still does. But, like, yeah. it's not continually coming in. No, no. There's, there's a limited amount. One of, of them funds. is a hacker in a fucking studio apartment in San Francisco. Probably also doesn't have money. One enough. of them was a cop. She, was a, she did not live in a good enough place to have a lot of money in San Francisco. Nope. One of them is a is a cop who had not yet hit retirement and pension in Chicago. Then the Central African guy who bus drove driver. a bus. I bet uh, that bus sell, sold for a lot of money. I mean, he was a corrupt politician at the end. A of girl. Two. Yeah. <laughs> a girl. A woman who's... Uh, I bet he made who's, bank. Yeah, a, a woman who's... I bet he didn't because he was trying not to be corrupt. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, right. I got that twisted around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, just yeah, got yeah. attacked because he, oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he was a good guy. guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> Doing it all wrong. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a South Korean woman whose father owned a really big company, but her brother murdered her father, stole the company from her, framed the com- the murder on her, got her sent to prison, and then now she's a fugitive. Yeah. So she has no access to any money. Again, except if the dad has... The dad did not hide a USB <laughs> drive full of cryptocurrency and child pornography but for her to use just in case. He's in South Korean. He might be good with techie stuff it didn't happen because you know goddamn well <laughs> if it would have happened no because if cryptocurrency was involved in this you know goddamn well that would have been a major plot point because yeah. they don't prioritize well yeah, yeah, yeah so instead of being like hey by the way no me would have had to hack something to instead get of the her having to go to the trial they would have been like hey by the way yeah she's in jail now just trust that but by <laughs> the way her dad left her a thumb drive with ethereum because that's the future not bitcoin bitcoin's washed up hack okay what are you fucking oh well, you a dinosaur on facebook it's snapchat okay if you're not on musically then it doesn't matter that is on musically yeah like that's it what didn't happen so then who else do we have we have Wolfie, who is oh, yeah. part we of have, a crime syndicate. Who had not really quite made it up to the point where he's really making money. He, no, like, he finally wasn't, got he to wasn't the point, even a made man. Like, so. He was getting to the point where he could have gotten become a made man, yeah. and then he fucking squandered it all. By shooting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so I he mean, doesn't he have the money. He kind of technically inherits all the money of that. I don't think he has access to all that money. Yeah, probably, because it's Germany and it takes like two years to inherit money. You don't <laughs> just inherit People dark you web, murder. <laughs> like analog dark web bank accounts. No, there's no, there's no. It's not Grand Theft Auto where you just shoot them and pick up the stacks. <laughs> it's not like it's not like an executor just comes to your place and it's like executor, ex- executor. The executor is here to gives you the finalized will. Well, I don't know why it's Schwarzenegger, but whatever. The Terminator, uh, executor. Well, executioner is the actual word. Executor is like... But the, the executor is the guy who gives you no, the money. Executor. Yeah. yeah. But executor would just be like that fucking... <laughs> the evolved from those like six eggs in Pokemon. <laughs> I was thinking more like a Jean-Claude Van Damme Terminator ripoff. Of course you're thinking of Jean-Claude Van Damme because... Oh, the spirit of Van Damme. <laughs> the spirit of oh, Van Damme. I've so much about you. <laughs> yes. So none of them have, like, two of them have okay <laughs> amounts so of money. Distracted. None of them have enough money to the fact that, like, they're renting, they're renting multiple multi-room flats uh-huh. in Paris. Yes. With a fantastic view. Amazing. A great location. Uh-huh. No, and it's huge, too. It's yeah. like, it's like me, uh, new they're girls. They're spending so much money just to hide out. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, yeah. Also, in a place where apparently everyone can fucking find them. Which, this leads oh, us yeah. into the, the Rajan. Ah, yeah. This leads us into Rajan, the husband. Which <laughs> Did we just say Rajan? Rajan. Okay, Rajan, yeah. Uh, the thing, uh, he just, so apparently everyone, it didn't really make it clear on what was said, but every one of their families was contacted somehow. Yes. And because of that, the parents of the Mumbai girl left a message pretending everything was fine, and she's like, and they would never do that. 
They would never leave yeah. a message saying everything was fine. Uh huh. So she's like, oh, something must be bad. The next day, at latest, knock on the door. I don't even know. It was knock on, I think he just walked into the room. Yeah, he walked just into. Just walked it. into the room. Yeah, dude. Her Dude, husband that's it, that's found security her in Paris. So bad. The They're security. trying to stay hidden from the biggest, most evil corporation in the world. Yeah. Every time we see also, anybody from, we this, don't know how that corporation makes their money. Just like Never Wakanda. Expect. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's the Wakanda of corporations. Yeah, it is. No, the Umbrella Corporation in 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 the Resident Evil. Yeah, in the Resident Evil, like they it only states once that they're being an accountant. When you're like the Umbrella Corporation, I'm like, oh, you mean Billa? <laughs> <laughs> you mean those those 15 shell corps that I use? Oh, you mean Billa Bipple and uh, Bipple and Little? Those those Umbrella Corporations for something much more nefarious. <laughs> Oh, you mean the people financing the Fourth Reich? Yeah, I know. That's right. If you guys don't like VW, if you guys haven't already heard the the Bella conspiracy about them financing the Fourth Reich, <laughs> uh, the Fourth Reich, really? Yeah, yeah, inside the rabbit hole dot com, it's legit. <laughs> Subcategory Austrian plot, it's definitely there. <laughs> Check it out. I mean, Bella was invented How by about an you Austrian. Get woke? Yeah, that's why I know. Yeah. Uh, Billa and Bippa, same guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the, the guy who you made it. You think I don't know this shit? I read my fucking facts, okay? <laughs> Before I, you. I've been inside. I've seen how deep the rabbit hole goes. I, I see I see you're aiming for Austrian citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> By knowing Billa and Bippa. I think it was once a, a question in the Austrian citizenship uh, test. Of course it is. I'm like, hey, wh- what have we accomplished? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please try. Please, Reggie. Please, please. Please, 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 do it. Wer ist der berühmste Österreicher der Welt? Falco. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. You are All right. Now, citizen. Yeah. Citizen. Yeah. 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 That, uh, we would have also taken everything but Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Paul Jacobs? <laughs> G.J. James? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love his ones and twos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining a series of Austrian families like Fritzl. Fritzl is just like, yeah, I actually, uh, DJ Sa- James, he just sampled my work. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you're, you're you, the children. <laughs> what that man does is an art form. I sampled him. I gave him little little Stefan, you know, because I knew he had the best. Uh, I mean, it's the closest thing to an Austrian sensei we have is Fritzl. <laughs> He was connected to his whole family. <laughs> little Stefan has the best beats. Sorry, little Stefan beats the best. <laughs> I beat Stefan the best. Yeah, okay. I was saying that Stefan be- it's a it's a masturbation oh, and a oh, hand job oh, joke. Oh, beats the meat. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you can also beat him. I don't oh, care. Beats the beef. No, meat. you squash the beef. Yeah, that means the same thing. <laughs> Your problem. <laughs> I wish Biggie and Tupac could have just squashed their beef. <laughs> Best pun ever. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, yo, homie, what, what'd you say? Niggas be tripping. Oh, bro, bro, but you don't want that West Side. Oh, no, 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 nigga, no, no, nigga, no. We be repping NYC. You know what, bro? Let's just, we don't want to just get too caught up. We don't need Suge Knight running over no niggas. All right, let's just squash the beef. All right, let's squash the beef. <laughs> Cinematography. We didn't get to, we didn't get to Raj on yet. We didn't, we didn't get to your part yet that you wanted the thing you wanted to I don't care anymore. It's important. Is it? I don't know. I mean again, you should also edit for content for every episode you do, but I'm <laughs> sure you won't. So <laughs> you son of a bitch. So the Indian husband arrives at their secret hideout, hiding from one of the biggest, most evil corporations in the world, and he just finds it. Yes. And he's not the only person who just finds it. Yeah. The the Asian Easily. Dude, the uh, South Korean fans Easily, her as well in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, where not even at know. the place they were yeah. at. Just yeah. in the. He's like, oh, you were. I saw that you were I in Paris. Your ha- phone. Well, I, I guess I committed a felony. Ke- I guess because she, she kept still the has phone. Yeah. Her. Okay, that so makes just, kind of sense. A little bit more. Also, th- that's also what this this movie does is like having something really ridiculous happen, and then the the, the script writers were like, yeah. oh, this is stupid. Let me just explain this quickly to, through this Deus it, Ex Machina. It handles, basically, it, it handles its internal logic the same way. Fast and the Furious Seven does, yeah, like, but with why way we, less fun. But it's yeah, and self awareness, right? But it's like, um, yeah, but it's like, oh, this is not well, self aware. No, 
No. It feels like it's important. But like, if I'm, have you seen Fast and Furious 7 when they drop the, the cars yeah. out of the yeah. plane? Yeah. yeah. And it's they're like, awesome. well, how are we going to know where to go? Uh, the parachutes have GPS. Yeah. Like, that's, that's yeah. how they handle it. But that's how they handle it in this, unironically. And for five minutes. Yeah. So, but my point is, so he figures out where they're at. They're, in, they're hiding. They're in a secret hideaway. This is life or death. that They stay hidden because they have a hostage who they're going to use no as leverage. No proximity alert on their part. And he just walks in. I mean, and Bag then, um, also walks in. Exactly. Bag also finds yeah. them. Again, that's my point. Multiple yeah. people have just found them in their hideout. Yeah. That's supposed to be so secretive. Well, like one of the best hackers in the world. So lazy. The wife just says, hey, here's what happened. So... I know he's like you didn't call. I was worried about you. So she said, "Okay, here's what happened. Um, see, the other seven people were all connected by the mind, and we're part of this thing called a cluster, which means that we were all born by the same mother, who are not actually real people. We're not Homo sapiens. We're another more evolved type of thing where we all share the same brain. We we think <laughs> each other's thoughts, smell each other's <laughs> smells. We just live each other's lives. We've been connected. One of us has been kidnapped. I kind of love that guy. And now we're all gonna go and we're trying to save him. And that's why we've been globe trotting and doing all these things. And Yes, I can see them even when they're not here. And there are times when I'm going to be talking to myself. And yes, this has been happening since before, before we got married. And I've been emotionally conflicted since before we got married. And now I think it's important to tell you all this. And the guy was like, wait, so you're saying that you're not even the same kind of person as me? And you knew this even before we were married? <gasps> That must have been so difficult for you. <laughs> yeah, he's the and ultimate understander. Immediately yeah. all on board with everything. And then like 25 minutes later, they had him like really reflecting on it in a car with the most expositional recap ever of like, man, I cannot. It was not Waleed's accent. I don't know why. I'm <laughs> man, I cannot believe it is so crazy. Like a, a week ago. It would have been I better. I thought that was. It would have been better. Would have it was made equally much sense. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't. I can't actually do an Apu anymore. Um. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. A week ago, I was I was just a, a normal person in a, in a pharmacy, and now I am here. I am fighting a person that I did not even know exist for for a type of humans that did not even exist. I am involved in this multinational conspiracy. How crazy is that? It happens so fast, and then it's just like the other guy says, "What?" Yeah, and just, he's like, "Oh, it just happens so fast." Oh yeah, we are a fast car. It is like we, are, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the car is fast. We are. It's like we are flying on clouds. Yeah, yeah, and then and it's like that is the most they do of this guy coming to terms with the fact that he was just told the most retarded excuse for cheating on him ever. I also love that every time the black guy driver goes in, gets into one of the cars, it automatically drives faster. Like <laughs> anything he touches, he drives faster. Like I get that with the fighters. It is the spirit of Van Damme. Yeah. <laughs> It makes no sense. So, so this is the thing where, like, this dude comes to terms with it so quickly with his wife obviously just cheating on him. Like, that is, like, take away the plot. If I just, if I found my wife in another country for, <laughs> good call, because yeah. the rest of it's not fucking worth talking about. Nope. The plot is the only thing that matters. Uh, uh, the cinematography. I'll tell you right now, not that great. Some shots were really amazing. Yeah, Others were grainy good. as shit for yeah. no reason. Yeah. Some uh, were real garbage. Yeah. Uh, sound, and at first whatever. thought it was, and at first thought it was my TV, and then it, it turned out nope, no, no, it, it couldn't have been. Like no, the, with the like some of the lighting things, maybe the graininess, no way. No. The thing is, like instead of just being like, if I found my wife in Paris without having told me that she was not, I'm like, why isn't my wife at home? She hasn't called me. Why is she not at home? And I have to track her down from Mumbai to Paris, and then I show the up there. Sexiest town uh, ever. Yeah, yeah, show up there unexpected to find her with four. Really hot guys. Oof. A transgender person. I would and say two three chicks. really hot guys, one very attractive guy. But that's just my opinion. Who? Uh, personally, I would tap... Gorski, not attractive? No, I would tap Gorski. You don't want to fuck the, the black one? Yeah. Fucking... I, <laughs> the fact that I can call that. Yeah. Like, three really hot guys and one nigger. Uh, Wait, the Mexican is also a minority. It's not about that. He's not a it's nigger. It's not about race. It's not about race. Believe me. It's not about race. It's about whether you're a person or not. <laughs> so <laughs> Good that we can shove some homophobia into this one to balance it that's out a little bit. homophobia. That's still race. That I the black people aren't per people. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yes. No, no. We're not having this no, again. fair enough. You're right. Black people aren't people. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> Reggie, you said it. <laughs> my point is... <laughs> You co-signed way too hard. Um, <laughs> like any good Austrian would do. You could have been like, oh, I see what you're saying. Not, 
oh, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> shows up there. She's yeah. like, oh, no, I'm not. Nothing weird's happening. There's this corporation that no one's ever heard of that's really evil that's focusing into a breed of non-humans that I happen to be. Oh, and also, I'm a telepath. Yeah. And he's just like, that must have been so difficult for you. No, no. How could you make a lie? Like that. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> how could you make some? How could you make a lie? Um, easy. Yeah, it's I could have just lying. said all of those things that are completely non-believable. Yeah. Lying is the easiest form to get out of anything. It's it, see, the truth is hard because the truth you have to say one thing. Yeah. There's only one thing that you can say that's true. Yeah. Lying is literally anything, anything else. else. Yeah. <laughs> How could you oh. come up with a lie like that? Oh, dude. Well, if you caught me while I was in the middle of a sucking a dick and had to explain, no, it's not that. I'm a psychic. Like, yeah, it wasn't By a good way, lie. Also, the Red Skull chairman. A dude with a completely burned face like Darth Vader wearing a gas mask where you can see all of his burn scars. Yeah. And he's like, I'm wearing this mask. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm wearing this mask. Yeah. <laughs> For anonymity. <laughs> <laughs> because you're not getting recognized by the voice. Or the still Mass, one third the Freddy Krueger face. Yeah. Jigsaw, yeah. yeah. Or, or any Jigsaw uh, wasn't burned. Jigsaw but, was just an old man. No, 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 no. In the Saw? No, no, not in Saw. No, no. Jigsaw. Eh, ha. So uh, in the Punish, No, in the Punisher. The Punisher has uh, one of oh, his main villains is um, the Jigsaw. Billy something, Brasco or something like that. He, he's a mobster that falls yeah, into yeah, a yeah. shit ton of shards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and gets... Well, in the most recent one, his face gets slammed into a glass at a, on a carousel over and over again. Oh, good times. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I totally forgot about that one. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. not my favorite. I liked it is up until the, the last episode. He's the best Punisher actor... But it's not the best Punisher. Thomas Jane's Punisher is better. I thought the movies were not good. The first movie was not good. Dolph Lundgren's ones? Yeah, that one was bad. No, I'm talking about the first... The one in, like, 2004. Yeah, that's Thomas Jane. Why do we bring up Punisher? Fucked up face. Yeah. Yeah. Darth Vader <laughs> face. One. Yeah. Who was really... Like, he just seemed like Darth Vader. He had a mask, a black mask that made him look menacing. He spoke... <sighs> Yeah, and under the mask he had a bunch of burns and he did it all for anonymity and it's like dude if anybody ever sees your face in your regular also, job he's the head of one of the most successful companies in the world right how is there not like a, a, a call to the to the chairmen or the to the stakeholders anything you have to do yeah with uh, in your regular professional capacity that you're trying to keep it hidden from you have burn face yeah <laughs> Also, what are the products you sell? What are you making? Who knows? Is that the chairman? He has a burnt up face, but I saw the chairman with a mask. He only had burnt ears. So how do I know that it's yeah. him? <laughs> Is it the same guy? I don't know. I can't put two and two together, really. So after all of this, Rajan comes and he's there. And then he fucking sees his wife murder people. And <laughs> yeah. Paul, like, because like, the thing is, like, he said, oh, and then you were like, oh, she's a killer. And yeah. he said, oh, you're a killer. <laughs> like, you called exactly yeah. what he was going to say. Yeah, but bait him. And then he stared at her for a second and was like, can you teach me? And she's like, yeah. And then Wolfgang, the uh, the the love interest that's the love triangle, yeah. steps in and starts explaining, okay, this is a safety, this is a trigger. Also, what you're holding right now is a taser. That doesn't actually count. Throws it aside. Then, ten minutes later, the girl gets shot. Wolfgang's over there. He starts giving her chest compressions and breathing into her mouth for CPR because that's how you treat gunshot wounds to the stomach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then while they're doing that, Rajan, the husband, is like, <gasps> and then runs away. And then while the chest compressions and the... No, 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 you totally forgot the astral projection before that. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what, yeah. That made me so mad. Uh-huh. Because... Yeah. No, that made me mad. Made, no, made me mad before it happened. Because <laughs> what happened was she got shot. She's laying on the ground unconscious. And we're all like... Please, we all like the we, two of us. We're like, no, please, we weren't. Die, please that's what die. People, that's yeah. what you're supposed to say. But me, I'm like, that doesn't make sense. There are eight people who are sharing the same brain. <laughs> yeah. If she's dead, they know it for sure. Yeah. And if she's not dead, then why are they confused? And obviously, she's not dead. And so she's gonna come back. So then they keep going. They're doing the chest compressions. They're all crying about it. And then she is like, astral projection. Hey guys, I'm okay. It hasn't nicked a main artery, which I can tell by feel. Yeah, and also by why are you unconscious then? So now she's unconscious, and for some reason, for the last two minutes of her being unconscious, nobody could feel her. But then she astral projected, which isn't really how they're experiencing it. 
They don't experience it by seeing yeah. her. They're experienced no. by feeling her. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. And then she's like, hey, I can feel that I didn't get in main artery. So give me some pressure. And then Ashley's like, like put some pressure so I don't like bleed out. But also, so the husband is like, hey, she doesn't have a heartbeat. So yeah. after she stops having a heartbeat, she comes out to say, hey, you should give me some compression because it's not a main artery. Also, please help. And then that's <laughs> when they realize that she's not alive. So then her heart's not beating. She got a stomach shot a shot to the stomach that made her heart stop beating in a minute yeah and then as wolfgang is giving her cpr which is definitely the only way to help a gunshot wound to the stomach rajan runs away comes back and then takes his her in the chest <laughs> <laughs> and now brings her back to life oh i hate it that's so Fucking, much i'm out i'm out i'm done yeah. i'm done yeah i'm done i'm out <laughs> i'm out yeah this is how Paul realized the movie was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours in, Paul's like, okay, now I get it. Now yeah. I get why Reggie's complaining. Dog shit. <laughs> the movie was dog shit, dude. Yeah, and then uh, all the all the main villains get wasted wasted at the like 30 minute, 35 minutes before the end. Yeah, very anticlimactically. Yeah, in a all very obvious just, way. And it's like one of the main hinges well, of the first two seasons. Aluak bars himself in the with all the with all the drones. Whispers? No, the other guy. The, the guy that they had chained to the radiator. Oh, yeah. That was another thing that annoyed yeah. me. So it was a guy who was like one of the main... From the old circle. From the old cluster. Yeah. So their mother, their cluster mother... Yeah. He was from her cluster. Such a clusterfuck, the whole thing. Yeah. It was like when drag queens have their wait, drag mom. Is that literally what they thought when they had an orgy? Like a clusterfuck, clusterfuck fuck, and fuck how, how they make that funny? I'm not part I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> not part of this. Uh, no. Nope. So this guy, their cluster mother, which really feels like when like drag queens are like, this is my drag mom. <laughs> my cluster mother. Yeah. It was like her cluster brother, basically. So it's like their cluster uncle betrays them in the last season. So they have him chained to a radiator. <laughs> and at one point, when they get raided, because BPO, the big corporation, couldn't find them by themselves. They could only find them once they followed a random pharmaceutical company owner from Mumbai who tracked them down by himself. Yeah. They can follow him, but they can't find a company that a random pharmaceutical owner from Mumbai can find. So they raid them, and then they run upstairs. And while they're on the roof, this guy, Jonas, this cluster uncle, runs away. And he's like, don't do it. I'll shoot you. And then Jonas's last words were, I'm on your side. Then he does a jack shuffle kind of jog away. <laughs> like, it looks so uncoordinated. Not it fast lo- at all. Looked, and like, not like, it looked like stumbly. Like yeah. it looked like you. Oh, did you just did you just get feet today? Like where? Like did I you mean, just they buy those? I had on in that Paris apartment for a while. No, not long enough for you to forget how to run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, he was chained. He wasn't in a coma. Three weeks right. in a coma. I'll buy it. Yeah. Three weeks of just not getting full range of motion. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> you should be still. Able so that's the last time we see him for like an hour and a half. Next time we see him, he appears in the car next to Chicago cop. And Chicago cop is like, not now. And he's like, I promise you it wasn't intentional. So he just unintentionally made himself present again. And he's like, and I promise it'll never happen again. And the then reason is because he's sacrificing himself yep. for the group. But also, hey, I'm on your side. Also, I didn't mean to see you, and I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Yep. And then this- the other guy crashes into like a bunch of barrels while being shot at. And then they have a little shootout where they kill all the henchmen. And then the rocket launcher into a helicopter and kill all the rest of the bad guys. Very anticlimactically. Before, because before also, the, before you know what's cha- going to be. Before the chairman gets killed, by the way. The chairman gets shot in the face. Didn't need to have For no happened. reason. He could have For really no He could have gotten on that helicopter and still be shot down. But again, he was like betrayed from his guys for inexplicable reasons it was just like show me your face cool then one of his guys shot him in the head and then she shot 30 seconds no yes she shot she shot the guy because the guy was a cover agent for oh she shot the guy she didn't shoot yes chairman yeah Yeah. so like he's like show me your face shows the face she's like oh my god it's you so we get a she two made second a big flashback thing. to a she, side yeah, character she made a big deal of like i need to he's like i wear this mask for anonymity and then she made this big deal of I need to know your identity. He reveals his identity, gets shot immediately. She shoots the guy who shoots them, and then thirty seconds later, she's killed too. So the like it's this big reveal of your identity, 
when everyone involved is dead 30 seconds later. Oh, yeah. The sensei's never, sensei never found out who the chairman is. Exactly. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> so they should always live in paranoia. Who cares? No, they should care. They should care. They should be living in paranoia that the chairman still is alive. Because it's hard to live in paranoia when you're too busy with an orgy. True, 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 true. <laughs> How scared are you going to be in an orgy? I'll be scared because I don't want to dick up my butt. But aside from that, I have no paranoia in an orgy. Come at me, bro. Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> don't stay away. At least two feet. <laughs> Another thing was the at Asian least love. Chis length. Asian love, I thought, was really interesting uh-huh. because um, so there's a South Korean character. She was framed for her. She's been hired by the Wachowskis a bunch of times. Yeah, that's not. I'm not talking about the actress. Oh, the, okay. the character. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, she was hired. Uh, yeah, she's. She, was she in Call of Atlas? Yeah, that was her. Very great tie-in, though. Then because she, her character, she good was actress, one of the robots. Good actress. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I remember, yeah. Uh, good actress, and I got to see her nipples. So I was like, Oof. it was like, mm. it's like fifteen minutes of this stupid yum, ending. When I'm like, this is dumb. Why is this? Oh, another fucking orgy. Of course. Oh, I'm happy so, <laughs> for a second. Yeah. And then you saw the Iceland girl, and then you were saying, I happy saw for- a lot of the German guy's ass again. I like that ass. That's I some. Don't. That's some good the Deutsche Hintern. Also, it's Deutsches Po. <laughs> Deutsche Po. That's some German poetry right there. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's what my, that's my next Facebook post is gonna be. Is du fast einmal mein, gell? Jetzt bist du halt gemein. Ein Gedicht. <laughs> I'm bad. It's so stupid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ein Gedicht. I had, to let, I had to let modern talking wear off a bit before I do it, but it's <laughs> it's gonna be dumb. Uh, <laughs> well, but my point is so. This Asian character, this South Korean character, her father owned a business. She loved her father. She doesn't like her brother because he's weird and stupid. And then her brother came up not at all in this. Nope. Just nope. Yeah. That's a big point at the end of season two. A big thing. Yeah. And then, oh, by the Go way, on. who cares? Yeah. Says, was, about, says about something about the South Korean penal system. They locked him away, like, right away, apparently. So her father was murdered by her brother. Yep. Her brother framed her for the murder. She gets sent to prison. She escapes from prison. She almost kills her brother. Doesn't kill him. I guess gets him arrested and then flees the country. But also, the thing is, one of the cops that's after them was apparently somebody that she beat, beat in a judo competition when they were kids. Yep. And then there while were rivals. Yeah. Yep. And then while, I don't even know if they were rivals. It seemed like it was just one time they were in a fight that was a big championship thing. Oh, shit. Yeah. I yeah. guess so. Yes. Okay. But I guess. But it stuck with him because he yeah. was like, "I got beat by a girl. Oh no, mm-hmm. my honor. What will my father think?" So then he is the cop that's in charge of this case. So they fight again in season two. Now they're in love. Yep. And she like gets a burner phone that she never gets rid of. Such bad judgment. <laughs> also, it's a touchscreen. Uh-huh. It's a touchscreen burner phone. Oh yeah, you were mad. At, I get at why she didn't get rid of it because you waste. don't burn a touchscreen. Those are expensive. <laughs> But she didn't. She's like, he's like, I miss you in so many words. And she's like, are you saying you miss me? And he's like, yes. Then say it. What? Say that you miss me. I miss you. Now you say it. I have to go. Which, yeah. And then the thing is like, and she was like, he's like, where are you at? And she's like, I'm here. That's all you need to know. He tracks her down. And uh, they just fell in love because they fought each other when they were kids and then fought each other again. Which is really like playing in. Like for how much the agenda is, let's break through stereotypes. It was just kung fu love. Dude, dude, that... Uh, it was kung fu love. Yeah. And the thing is, like, they fell in love because of fighting. And then later in the thing, they're, they're in a fight again where they're on the same side. And then he's like, oh, this... Like, I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was like a, oh, this brings yeah. me back. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like, oh, this is my love. Which, that, coupled with Cloud Atlas in general, with <laughs> New Soul, where they just gave everyone Asian eyes. Yeah. <laughs> including... A Everybody was guy. kung fu fighting. Cunt. Dun, 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 dun. If you remember Cloud Atlas, Cloud Atlas' this whole thing is everybody is like reliving different lives and reincarnated. Yeah. And in order to achieve that effect, they gave everyone Asian eyes. I know. I know. Yeah. Including a big black guy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. I remember. I really think the Wachowskis have a problem with Asians. <laughs> or not a problem. If you... No, fuck you. If you gave Tommy Lee Jones a nigga nose... <laughs> no, because he's, it's in Nigeria. It's in New Nigeria. 
that would be so funny. No, dude, it would be, it would be hilarious. It'd be hilarious. Yeah. But can you imagine the backlash? If Tom Hanks, what do you mean? Tommy Lee Jones, <laughs> this random South Korean bitch, all got giant lips and a nigga nose. Because no, they're in Nigeria, so that way that we have we it's all they're all living the same life. No, you can't do that, but you can do it with Asian people. So let's give them all single fold eyelids, prosthetic single fold eyelids. That way, how else will you know it's soul if they have regular people eyes? So then they did that. Five years later, they're like, hey, let's let's make a show that just like it breaks all preconceptions about gender, but also Asians fall in love because they fight each other. <laughs> Fuck you. Final conclusion. What was your secret category? Nah, fuck that. What was it? It wasn't. and it, I didn't even write anything down. I wanted to do I something. I mean, you crossed out a lot. But. I, I wanted to do something about like a quick history of the TMP, the gun, the Austrian gun, the connection that we found to this movie. Well, I'm glad we didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Final yeah. conclusion. Yeah, we already did that, Reggie. Final <laughs> conclusion. All right, where oh, can people find you? One more. I want to. Uh, what was our final conclusion? It's garbage. Oh, we yeah, already it's... said that like multiple times. Oh, one more time. Final conclusion. Now you can harmonize. Final conclusion. Final conclusion. Oh, shut. It was dog shit. Don't watch it. Which Are, is so much different than most of my conclusions. <laughs> I can do a best off of your conclusions, basically. Dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. There's this like a. If I had realized seconds. that this would be the trajectory it would go in, I would have ended everyone with dog shit, don't watch it. So that's what it could be. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like they're all pretty similar. Yeah. Well, in this case, um, Reggie, where can people find you? <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, Facebook.com. Like a, a month. Sl- uh, Facebook.com slash the Reginald Barris. That there you can find all my dates for yeah. whatever's going on. Also Vienna Chuckles uh, on Facebook, Facebook.com, Vienna Chuckles. That's for the shows that Very are being good, produced yeah. in Vienna. We have different shows, different formats, two or three times a some month. Some really funny comedians on that show. We have had some really funny comedians. And we have a few people planned for fall who are coming in from out of town. Ooh. That'll hopefully be good. Nice. Um let's see. On YouTube, All Ears on Us. Right. On iTunes, All Ears on Us. <laughs> on the web, All Ears on Us. No, don't, com. Go, don't go to the website. I. It, it still it has. It still looks like it, it's. It, it still looks like a schizophrenic person who wanted one. to make a Here's workshop. Here's where you can put your widgets. <laughs> yeah, it's somebody who, who started to dig up the. The, the garden to make it into a beautiful like new new, new biotope I mean and the then blog just is the only stop. thing because the blog is where the uh, it's still podcasts look- are posted yeah. and that's where the RSS feed is which is all I use it for so the blog you can get everything that matters in the blog there death and taxes you know what honestly it makes sense when people say death and taxes because I can't tell you how much I thought about putting a bullet in my brain the moment I realized I owed 560 something dollars to the United States of America to, to, to eat noodles for a year <laughs> and, uh. and achieve your lifelong dreams alright this has been it thank you so, so much for listening in for this long and have a good night talk shit